our theme for the fifth day of the Novena in honor of Saint Joachim and Saint Anne is sacrifice and service. In today's readings, we see how we are dependent on God for our spiritual nourishment and growth. Following the Israelites' deliverance from bondage, God provides to the Israelites who find themselves in wilderness without food. This reminds us that God may provide from resources that we never knew existed, thus fulfilling His promise in times of our needs. We also see by the parable of the different outcomes for the seeds sown, the different ways in which the word of God is received. Our parents play an important role in our growth by making sacrifices to provide for us and nourish us with values. Let us pray with gratitude that we may grow in the soil of an open heart and surrender to the generosity of God. Come to the feet of heaven and earth. Oh, come to the table. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We say together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord, 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 Lamb of God, Son of the Lord, oh Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take Let us pray. O Lord, God of our fathers, who bestowed on saints Joachim and Anne this grace, that of them should be born the mother of your incarnate Son, grant through the prayers of both that we may attain the salvation you have promised to your people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The people of Israel set out from Elim, and all the congregation of the people of Israel came to the wilderness of Sin which is between Elam and Sinai. On the 15th day of the second month, after they had departed from the land of Egypt, and the whole congregation of the people of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness, and the people of Israel said to them, would that we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by the meat pots and ate bread to the full. For you have brought us out into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Then the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I am about to rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a day's portion every day, that I may test them whether they will walk in my law or not. On the sixth day, when they prepare what they bring in, it will be twice as much as they gather daily. Then Moses said to Aaron, Say to the whole congregation of the people of Israel, Come near before the Lord, for he has heard your grumbling. And as soon as Aaron spoke to the whole congregation of the people of Israel, they looked towards the wilderness, and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. And the Lord said to Moses, I have heard the grumbling of the people of Israel. Say to them, at twilight you shall eat meat, and in the morning you shall be filled with bread. 
then you shall know that I am the Lord your God. In the evening, quail came up and covered the camp, and in the morning, dew lay around the camp. And when the dew had gone up, there was on the face of the wilderness a fine, flake-like thing, fine as frost on the ground. When the people of Israel saw it, they said to one another, What is it? For they did not know what it was. And Moses said to them, It is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. In their heart they put God to the test by demanding the food they crave. They spoke against God and said. Can God spread a table in the wilderness? The Lord gave them bread from heaven. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Yet He commanded the clouds above and opened the gates of heaven. He rained down manna to eat and gave them bread from heaven. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Man ate the bread of angels. He sent them abundance of food. The east wind he stirred up in the heavens. The south wind he directed by his mind. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. The Lord gave them bread. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the lake. And great crowds gathered about him, so that he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell along the path, 
and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and immediately they sprang up, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and produced grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears, let him hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. संत जोखीम आणि ऍना पवित्र मरीचे आई वडील त्यांच्या सणानिमित्त हे नवेने किंवा त्यांचा सण साजरा करण्यासाठी आपण एकत्र जमतो दररोज नऊ दिवस संत जोखीम आणि ऍना ह्यांचा सण म्हणजेच आजी आजोबांचा सण म्हणजेच आई वडिलांचा सुद्धा सण माझ्या प्रिय बंधू भगिनीनो संत जोखीम आणि ऍना त्यांचं त्यागमय जीवन आणि सेवामय जीवन ह्या विषयावर आपण मनन चिंतन करणार आहोत परंतु आपल्याला संत जोखीम आणि ऍना ह्यांच्या जीवनाविषयी माहिती आहे का त्यांनी कसं त्यागमय जीवन जगलं आणि त्यांनी सेवा कशी केली ह्याच्या विषयी आपल्याला काही माहिती आहे का जोखीम आणि ऍना ह्यांना मोलबाळ नव्हतं बरीच वर्ष मोलबाळ नव्हतं म्हणून त्यांनी परमेश्वराची आराधना केली परमेश्वर विश्वास कधी सोडला नाही अशा वेळेला त्यांना वरदान मिळालं परमेश्वराकडून की तुम्ही बाळाला जन्म देणार आहात आणि ते सुद्धा म्हातारपणे परमेश्वराकडून हे वरदान घेत असताना त्यांनी परमेश्वराला वचन दिले की आम्ही आम्हाला जे बाळ होईल ते तुला समर्पित करणार म्हणून दिलेल्या वचनाप्रमाणे त्यांनी पवित्र मरीला सात वर्षाचे असताना मंदिरामध्ये समर्पित केले माझ्या प्रिय बंधू भगिनीनं ह्याद्वारेच त्यांचा त्याग हा किती मोठा आहे एवढ्या वर्षानंतर झालेली मुलगी आई बापाचा आनंद त्यांना मिळाला परंतु तरी देखील त्यांनी परमेश्वराच्या सेवेसाठी तिला समर्पित केले आहे ना हा मोठा त्याग आहे ना ही मोठी सेवा झाड तस फळ आई वडिलांकडून गुण मिळाले पवित्र मरेला पवित्र जीवन जगण्यासाठी आणि म्हणून माझ्या प्रिय बंधू भगिनीनो पवित्र मरीच जीवन जर का आपण बघितलं किंवा तिच्या जीवनाविषयी जर का आपण माहिती करून घेतली तर नक्कीच आपल्याला कळेल की जोखीम आणि ऍना तिचे आई वडील किंवा प्रभू येशू ख्रिस्ताचे आजी आजोबा सुद्धा त्यागमय होते आणि सेवामय जीवन जगत होते तर सगळ्यात पहिलं म्हणजे पवित्र मरीचं उदाहरण घेतलं तर पवित्र मरीने लहानपणापासून वाईट गोष्टींचा चुकीच्या गोष्टींचा चुकीच्या विचारांचा त्याग केला ही गोष्ट तिने आपल्या आई वडिलांकडूनच शिकली असेल ह्या चुकीच्या गोष्टीचा त्याग केल्यामुळे तिने तिचं शरीर तिचं मन तिचे विचार तिचं जीवन हे पवित्र ठेवलं आणि म्हणूनच कदाचित परमेश्वराने त्या पवित्र मरीमधील हे पावित्र्य जीवन पाहून ते कौमार्य पाहून त्याने आपल्या 
पुत्राची आई म्हणून तिला निवडले दुसरं स्वतःच्या इच्छेचा तिनं त्याग केला जसं आपल्या आई वडिलांनी संत जोगीम आणि अना ह्यांनी स्वतःच्या इच्छेचा त्याग केला आणि आपल्या बाळाला आपल्या मुलीला देवळामध्ये समर्पण केलं तसं पवित्र मरीने सुद्धा स्वतःच्या इच्छा बाजूला ठेवल्या आणि परमेश्वराची इच्छा काय आहे ते प्रमाण मानलं आणि ती तशी जगली तिने होकार दिला त्याप्रमाणे ती जगली तिसरं तिनं तिच्या स्वतःच्या आनंदाचा त्याग केला जेव्हा ती देवदूताला होकार देत होती परमेश्वराला होकार देत होती तेव्हा तिला माहिती होत की हा होकार म्हणजे माझ्या दुःखाची सुरुवात आहे परंतु तिने सुखाचा आनंदाचा त्याग केला दुःख स्वीकारलं जसं प्रवेश ख्रिस्ताने सुद्धा खुस स्वतःहून स्वीकारला लोकांच्या सेवेसाठी लोकांच्या कारणासाठी तसं पवित्र मरीने सुद्धा हे स्वीकार दुःख स्वीकारलं लोकांच्या भल्यासाठी आणि माझ्या प्रिय बंधू बहिणी नो ह्या गोष्टी तुला कुठून शिकायला मिळाल्या आपल्या आई वडिलांकडूनच जोखीम आणि अनाकडूनच शिकायला मिळालं असेल सात वर्ष ती आपल्या आई वडिलांबरोबर होती चौथ त्याग वैयक्तिक जीवनाचा तिनं तिच्या जीवनामध्ये वैयक्तिक जीवन बाजूला ठेवून कौटुंबिक जीवन कसं जगता येईल ह्याचा विचार केला ह्यासाठी तिने त्यागमय जीवन जगले पाचवं त्याग स्वतःच्या स्वप्नांचा तिचे सुद्धा एक तरुणी म्हणून पुष्कळ स्वप्न असतील पण तिने ही सगळी स्वप्न बाजूला ठेवली आणि परमेश्वराच्या हाकेला होकार देऊन कौटुंबिक जीवनाची स्वप्न काय असतील परमेश्वराच्या योजना काय आहेत त्या तिनं प्रमाण मानल्या आणि संत योसेफ बरोबर लग्न करून तिने प्रभू येशू ख्रिस्ताच संगोपन केलं माझ्या प्रिय बंधू बहिणीनो त्याग स्वतःच्या पुत्राचा सुद्धा तिने केला परमेश्वराने तिला माता म्हणून दान दिलं परमेश्वर स्वतः बाळाच्या रूपात तिच्या पदरी जन्माला आला परंतु मोठा झाल्यानंतर तिनं त्याच बाळाचा त्याग केला आपल्या सगळ्यांच्या कारणासाठी तिला सिमियनने मंदिरामध्ये परमेश्वराला प्रवेशग्रस्ताला समर्पित करत असतानाच भाकीत सांगितलं की हे बाळ लोकांच्या कारणासाठी मरणार आहे तिच्या हृदयामध्ये जणू काही कट्यात घुसकलं गेलं आणि तरी देखील तिने हा त्याग केला आपल्या सर्वांसाठी हे सगळं तुला कुठून मिळालं त्याच्या आई वडिलांकडूनच सेवा घरातल्या माणसांची तिने केली प्रवेश ख्रिस्त लहान बाळ त्याला मोठं केलं तिनं सात वर्ष आई वडिलांची सेवा केली तिनं योसेफची सेवा केली चॅरिटी बिगिन्स ॲट होम तिनं प्रथम आपल्या कुटुंबातल्या लोकांची काळजी घेतली जेव्हा तिला कळलं एलिझाबेथ तिची माऊस बहीण जी गरोदर आहे ती सुद्धा वयस्कर वयात धावत गेली तिची सेवा करण्यासाठी सेवा केली पुत्र देऊन आपल्या सर्वांना तिने हा प्रभू शुक्रस देऊन जणू काय आपली सेवाच केली ना सेवा शिष्यांची सुद्धा केली जेव्हा प्रभू शुक्रस्त मरण पावला तेव्हा शिरव सर्व शिष्य घाबरलेले हादरलेले तेव्हा ती त्यांच्या बरोबर प्रार्थनेमध्ये राहिली त्यांच्या बरोबर राहिली त्यांना धीर दिला जणू काही त्यांची सेवाच केली सेवा आजही ती करत आहे मध्यस्त्री म्हणून पवित्र मरिया आज आपल्याला आपलं पुत्र म्हणून मानते आपली कन्या म्हणून मानते आणि आज आपल्यासाठी सुद्धा ती मध्यस्थी करते आपली सेवा नाही का करत माझ्या प्रिय बंधू बहिणीनो आजकाल जर का आपण आपल्या जीवनामध्ये लोक पाहिली आजूबाजूला लग्न व्हायच्या अगोदरच घर तुटत आहे पवित्र मरीने तर घर कुटुंब जोपासले आज अनेक लोक पैसा अधिकार किंवा त्यांची जी काही सुख आहेत वस्तूमध्ये त्याची स्वप्न पाहत आहेत पवित्र मरीने तर परमेश्वराचं स्वप्न पूर्ण करण्याचं ते स्वप्न तिने पाहिले आजकाल आपलीच लोक प्रिय लोक आपल्याच प्रिय लोकांना आश्रमामध्ये ठेवत आहेत वृद्धाश्रमामध्ये ठेवत आहेत 
किंवा आपल्याच कुटुंबातील लोकांना त्रास देत आहे परंतु पवित्र मरीने सर्वांना जोपसले कारण तिला हे सर्व काही तिच्या कुटुंबात सापडलं तिच्या कुटुंबामध्ये जोखीम आणि आना तिच्या आई वडिलांनी तिला दिलं माझ्या प्रिय बंधू बहिणीनो जोखीम आणि आना ह्यांच्या वैयक्तिक जीवनाविषयी जरी आपल्याला जास्त काही माहिती नसलं तरी तिनं आपल्याला जगाला दिलेली आपली माता पवित्र मरिया तिच्या जीवनाद्वारे आणि त्याच्याहीपेक्षा महत्वाचं म्हणजे प्रभेशू क्रिस्तात त्यांचा नातू तो ह्या जगाला देऊन जणू काही त्यांनी त्यागमय जीवन जगलेलं आहे आणि सेवामय जीवन जगलेलं आहे आणि आज हे संत जोखीम आणि त्यांना आपल्यासाठी मध्यस्थी करतात आपले आजी आजोबा म्हणून आज सुद्धा ते आपल्याला ह्याच गोष्टी सांगत असेल समर्पण करा कुटुंबातल्या व्यक्तींची काळजी घ्या देवावर विश्वास ठेवा आशा सोडू नका जणू काही त्यागमय जीवन जगण्यासाठी आणि सेवामय जीवन जगण्यासाठी आपल्याला एक मजबूती पाहिजे आधार पाहिजे शक्ती पाहिजे आणि ती आहे आपला प्रभेश ख्रिस्त त्यांचा नातू पवित्र मरिया जी मध्यस्थी आपल्याला त्याने दिलेली मग चला आपण त्यांना धन्यवाद देऊया त्यांचे आभार मानूया संत ज्योतिम आणि त्यांना आणि पवित्र मरीच्या मध्यस्थी प्रभेश ख्रिस्ताचा आशीर्वाद हे तुम्हाला देत आहे प्रभू तुम्हा बरोबर सो आणि तुम्हा बरोबर सुद्धा सर्वशक्तिमान परमेश्वर पिता पुत्र आणि पवित्र आत्म्यांचा आशीर्वाद तुम्हा सर्वांवर येवो संत जोगीम आणि ऍना ह्यांच्या सणाच्या हार्दिक शुभेच्छा आणि विशेष करून बिशप बारथोलने आपल्याला सर्वांना आवर्जून आमंत्रण केलेलं आहे या वर्षी आजी आजोबांचा सण साजरा करा आजी आजोबांना सन्मान द्या मग चला आपण संत जोगीम आणि ऍना ह्यांचा जर का खरोखर आदर करत असू तर आपल्या आजी आजोबांचा किंवा आपल्या आई वडिलांचा आपण सन्मान करूया आमे वी नाव लिफ्ट अप आर प्रेयर्स अँड पिटिशन टू आर हेवनली फादर आर रिस्पॉन्स शल बी लॉर्ड ग्रेशियसली हिअर आर प्रेयर टुगेदर Lord graciously hear our prayer for our pope bishops clergy and religious that they may continue to guide the members of the church in the path of mercy and service to others we pray to the lord lord graciously hear our prayer for the leaders of the world that they may guide the actions of those who govern and may the holy spirit move them with compassion and generosity to care and help the less fortunate of society we pray to the lord lord graciously hear our prayer for the hungry sick and marginalized that they may be uplifted and cared for by society we pray to the lord Lord graciously hear our prayer for all those affected by the pandemic that the lord may have mercy and comfort them in their time of pain and distress we pray to the lord lord graciously hear our prayer for our personal and community needs We pray to the Lord, Lord graciously hear our prayer. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless our you Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be god blessed be god blessed be god forever amen blessed be god 
Blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity, and cleanse me of my sin. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, these offerings of your homage and grant that we may merit a share in the same blessing which you promised to Abraham and his descendants through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, show support, so that, encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so, with the angels and archangels, and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Navina Prayer to Saint Anne Remember, O glorious and good Saint Anne, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help and sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, behold, I cast myself at your feet and beseech you by your great prerogative of being the mother of the Queen of Heaven and the Grandmother of Jesus. Come to my aid with a powerful intercession and obtain from the Almighty God, through the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, this special favour which I beg of you. Cease not to intercede for me until, through divine mercy, my request may be granted. Above all, obtain for me the grace one day to behold my God face to face, and with you and Mary and all the saints, praise and bless him through all eternity. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Anne, pray for us. Saint Joachim, pray for us. They received blessings from the Lord and mercy from God their Saviour. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son should be born from among humanity, so that by a wonderful mystery humanity might be born again from you, we pray that in your kindness you may sanctify by the spirit of adoption those you have fed with the bread you give your children. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus 
in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic. We pray that the vaccine be available for all our people, even the poor and those in rural areas. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.